guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books to help you fix your book. Hi guys, so a lot of you have been asking me on how to migrate to a different accounting software um, if you were using one previously. So the best thing to do is actually to get the trial balance. Usually you can get this from either the software or your accountant if they've prepared your year end. So it should look something like this but honestly 99 percent of people won't have the trial balance so the balance sheet is the next best thing so these are the three types of balance sheets that you're going to encounter so this one is the easiest to work with it's laid out very clearly easily this one is the same thing it's laid out very clearly as well this one is the hardest one to work with if you just have the Jiffy codes. Um, so the codes like 1000, 1599, those are the Jiffy codes, um, the general index of financial information. So this is basically standardized and everyone knows what this code is, right? So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're just dealing with a balance sheet like this and how it's going to look like in terms of your journal entry. So... It just looks like this so you just literally have to copy the name and then transfer it to the correct side so obviously everything in assets will be in debit everything in liabilities and equity will be in credit now what happens when you encounter a company with negative retained earnings because it does happen sometimes so you just move there if it's negative again if it's negative you just move the retained earnings to the debit side and that's it but clearly this is correct in the credit side it balances completely that's fine so all you need to do is literally go to QuickBooks and do a journal entry exactly like this and that's it you have your opening balances that's fine what happens when you have something like this right as i mentioned the the one with the giphy codes it takes just a bit longer um to do but it's still the same thing so the best thing to do is make um a balance sheet like this again in excel and then i'll show you how to do it just let's say um with probably a couple of assets okay so now we have like a black balance sheet and so for you to remember just type in the codes so just do 1000 um, 1060 1066 right let's do like three assets so you just have to go to the um, Giphy code chart of accounts and you can get this online very easily and I will also um, link it down below so it's easy for you to find and then just click Control F to search for it and then look for 1000. Okay, so it says cash and cash deposits. So let's just do cash for 2076, right? And then the next one, 1060, Control F, 1060, accounts receivable. And then 101, 595, and then last, 1066, taxes receivable. So just put that there. Maybe they have a tax refund, so they put it as tax receivable. So 7122. As I said, I'm not going to do everything here just because there's a lot of codes, but you can already see that this is how you're going to make um basically a balance sheet just based on the giphy statement okay so let's pretend we actually finished all of these already and it's a proper balance sheet now we have to transfer it into quickbooks online so all you need to do in quickbooks is click new and then journal entry and then you're just literally going to copy whatever the balances are here 
in two quick bolts, right? And just note that for accounts receivable, you need a customer to tag it to. Just so, but just make a customer named general customer, and then you could probably um, figure it out later what comprises this accounts receivable. If it's like, let's say, 10% for customer A, 20% for customer B, you could break that down and edit it later. The same thing goes with accounts payable. You need the supplier to tag it to. And so if you don't know which suppliers they owe, just make a general supplier and then find out the breakdown of who they owe for this amount. Again, it could be like, let's say 15,000 of the 22,850 is to one supplier, 1,000 to another supplier. You can edit that later. We just put this in right now as like basically a dummy supplier and a dummy customer just so we can enter the opening balances. So don't be scared of the negative amounts in the Giphy balance sheet. That's accumulated amortization. So just put it on the credit side and your balance sheet will balance. And so just click save. So after you click save, this is what it should look like in QuickBooks. Once you've entered the opening balances, you can see this is all from the um, journal entry we made. So it's all here and that's it. That's how easy it is to move your accounting software from one to another. And this is how you enter opening balances. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.